What's up besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you so very much for being here with me on the Almost Daily. Y'all are seriously amazing. Just doing a reading from my secondary space. Um, just trying to catch up. I've been, um, it's been crazy stormy and power's been going on and off. Our freaking water was a disgusting color the other day. It's just been like, um, just ugh, storm after storm after storm. And I've had to push back some readings. So for those of you who are waiting on your personals, my apologies. Um, they are being delayed a couple days here while I catch up. And yeah, anyway, I am getting a reading here for everyone uh, who does resonate with being divine feminine. I really have been thinking and I've been called to bring back the daily, daily DF readings. So what they are is just short little check-ins. Um, I've had a lot of feedback when we were doing them on the regular basis in the past. Um, and sometimes they resonated for that day. Sometimes it resonated for the day before or the day after. And sometimes these readings would resonate a week out um, in advance. So please be open to the messages that you are about to receive uh, as far as their timing goes. But I would like to start reintroducing a short daily message for our Divine Feminine Collective here, okay? As we grow and glow and flow in our lives, all right? Let's uh, run the sound bowl, watch your ears, and we'll get started on the reading. Here we go. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection Ooh. for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, divine feminine, your energy around you in the day is will. I love this. What are you trying to create in your world? What is your, I just feel that intense focus coming back in. And I do see that something that you've been willing to happen. Uh, you're starting to see the signs coming through that your will is your, uh, is coming true. Your wishes are coming true. Your will, you have willed something into existence. Oh, sorry. I'm going to close down that computer so it doesn't interrupt. <laughs> but that was like a little confirmation, wasn't that? I, I suppose so. Um, at the bottom of the deck here, we have the path, right? So you are on track. You are on path, right? Um, to just getting into alignment with what it is that you're trying to create in your world. I'm loving it. Um, and that's why one of the reasons why I wanted to actually bring back these daily DF readings. Okay. Just to do a check-in because I feel like a lot of you are hungry, 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 um, to create something new in your world. Okay. Um, now very interesting. I know our last reading for the divine feminine was like, you're you're going to be at the right place at the right time. Um, and I'm still feeling that very strongly for you in this reading. And I've actually seen examples of it happening in my own um, life, you know, where I'm at the right place, the right time. I'm hearing the I'm hearing a message, I'm getting a sign, you know. So those are the kinds of things that our collective of divine feminines, y'all should be watching out for, following those intuitive hits, seeing the signs, following the signs, and acting upon um, this new information that is coming into you, um, you know, that is going to help you achieve whatever it is that you are very um, strongly focused on in the moment. So um, I can see right here, just keep that hunger going, right? Keep feeding that idea, keep feeding that manifestation and keep tapping into that strength of will because um, you're literally willing something into existence, okay? And I'm loving it. So what is the outgoing energy? Energy. And by that, I mean, I just want to fix my angle here a little bit, I think, to get more of the cards in it. I didn't set that up properly, but okay. Let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so what is the outgoing energy? Where are you kind of leaving off uh, before you start the day? The outgoing energy. So maybe even yesterday's vibe. We'll see what that is for you. 
What is the outgoing energy? Ace of Swords. Okay, great. Um, this can indicate that new information that's come in, right? You may have heard something or received one of those signs, synchronicities, messages from the universe, from spirit, your team, guides, ancestors, right? You have received some new information that is, it, it's, it's bringing clarity to you. You've, re rece you've received some type of communication that has come in. Now, um, like I said, it doesn't have to be a necessarily like a text or a, a phone call or something like that, but it could be, it's just you have overheard a conversation or you, um, someone told you something, you know, I just feel like you have your ear to the ground, so to speak. And you, you, again, you were at the right place at the right time to receive some very important information that is giving you a new idea or, um, a, a new sense of strength when it comes to willing something <laughs> into existence you know I've, i i hope you all are following me because that's the outgoing energy so you've recently received some kind of clarity as to where it is you're going what it is you need to do next you know next step right um in accomplishing whatever this will is that you are so freaking hungry for whatever this desire is okay you are on the path you are on the right path i can tell you that much what is the overall energy of the day uh what's coming into you today Ooh, two of cups energy wow wow i wasn't really expecting that let me see here three of cups okay i will i'm taking both of these for the incoming energy because um what i see happening is a communication coming through right receiving some kind of message now for some of you this could be in the love department because we do have the two of cups right and the two of cups is often um, interpreted as that reciprocated love or um, definitely it's, it's a message that makes you happy okay um, the two of cups can also speak to meeting ourselves in the middle and loving ourselves and doing what's right for ourselves as well it's a partnership energy and of course we can partner with ourselves in order to um, in order to you know move things forward in our on our path and with this desire that we are so hungry for for others of you it will be in the love department and it is going to be a communication um, worth celebrating and I do feel like you're going to be very satisfied with the information that comes through to you today um, and so it's just really motivating you to continue forward and you are seeing obvious um I guess you're getting obvious feedback that you're on the right path, that, that, that things are working out, like your plan, your <laughs> master plan kind of an energy is, is coming into fruition, okay? Um, what do we have here? The Emperor. Wow. Divine Feminine reading, and we're getting the Emperor. We're getting the Two of Cups. I really did... Um, I, I really honestly felt that this was going to be about that strength of will, that desire, that deep desire. For some of you, it is to reconnect with the masculine, but for others of you, it's not. We can interpret this as you, um, what's coming through to you and how you're going to feel about it. You're going to feel like you're on top of the world. You may receive some information perhaps about um, your business or there's something that you're trying to create where you can boss up. Okay. Um, becoming your own boss or become like get, moving your plans along to the next level. Others of you, this will resonate in the love area. You could be hearing from your divine masculine that could have happened. Um, you know, this, the previous energy, right. That could have recently happened for you. And it would have been a very pleasant encounter. It would have been a really beautiful conversation. Um, again, something worth celebrating you would have found out and gained clarity on um your masculine's position let's just say current current event you know what's going on with your masculine okay um that's for some of you now i want to know what the challenge is going to be because we can't just have this beautiful energy without a challenge there's always something to look at um hopefully it's something that's not too you know it's not too challenging at all look at that Look at that. I even ask for a challenge and we have the Ten of Cups. I'm seeing that this is an overall beautiful energy. I want to peep the bottom of the deck right now and just see. Page of Swords. Yeah, you are getting some kind of very important 
messaging some kind of very important information here coming through to you that is really going to help you uh, make some very wise decision and really use your own discernment with the page of swords it's like i have learned some information and now i know what i need to do um, there's a little bit of reluctance honestly when i see the page of swords because um, there's still a little confusion i mean we can see with the clouds the clouds in tarot often represent confusion energy. You are, you know, gaining some clarity here. I can see that. Um, but the challenge is like, this is something that you want. This is something that you really truly desire, right? So whether it be your a communication coming through from your masculine or gaining any kind of clarity in your love life, it's also can be interpreted of gaining clarity on a wish, a dream, a goal, a manifestation, whatever that dream is for you, because the 10 of cups is just that. It's our emotional satisfaction, you know? Um, for me, personally, um, I can interpret this in both ways, right? I have recently, uh, well, I've recently, I've received communication from my own masculine and that's all good. Um, and I'm keeping a pretty cool level head about all that. Um, but I'm also, um, I've also found out some very important information for myself that does lend to what it is I'm trying to create um, and something that I have been wishing and dreaming for as well. Now, I'm not going to spill the beans out there because it's nothing set in stone just yet. But it's definitely something worth celebrating and something that's made me feel really good, like I'm on the right track. So um, this feeling is not just for me. I feel like, you know, folks are starting to, uh, I mean, like attracts like, right? So if I'm picking it up and you're here tuning into this vibrational reading, it's also happening for you, okay? Um, you're bringing this energy into your world. Please let me know in the comments, you know, like has anything like this happened for you? Have you been seeing the signs and synchronicities lately? Have you received any amazing uh, communications or information or message that's helping you push towards a goal, a dream, a desire, something that is going to, you know, uh, make you feel like, oh my gosh, I've got it all, right? This is the dream, right? This is the dream with the 10 of cups, all right? So we are receiving some beautiful information. Okay, I don't, well, look at that. I, I was trying to move the deck, not cut the deck, but I will take it. Everything happens here for a reason, four of swords. There has been a period of um, silence. Maybe you are having to take some time out um, to process everything that's going to be going down. Maybe some of you just literally need a nap like midday or whatever it is. Um, even if it's just like 10 or 15 minutes of meditation for you to kind of process and figure out what it is you're going to do next. Or maybe um, some of this can be quite overwhelming because even those happy moments can... Um, you know, we exude a lot of energy, right? If we're really, really excited about something, if we go out and we're celebrating it the next day, you know, we might feel a little bit of a dip or a drain in our energy. Um, yeah, so it's important to stay regulated so we can get really excited and really overwhelmed in that way as well. Look, the lovers coming up. Okay, the lovers. Um, very important choices are going to be made. So you might need some of those timeout moments to kind of just pull yourself back together and, and get yourself, um, I don't know, I'm just feeling like to balance out, to balance out your emotions again, okay? Because <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a, a pretty high high coming in, okay? Um, what is it, how is it that you are going to feel about all of this? How is this information going to make you feel? How, how are you going to feel today about all of this? Nine of Pentacles, like you've got it all, like you can do this, like you are on track. Um, I, I, I'm just getting somebody here who's really been working very hard, okay? You've been putting all the time, energy, love onto yourself, onto your goals, onto your dreams, you know, onto this, whatever it is that you have been freaking hungry for, you know, you are achieving a goal and it's making you feel like you are, um, it's, it's like you're freaking proud of yourself. Okay. Because you've come really far and you've put in all this time, energy and effort onto, uh, whatever this goal is for you. And you've got this, you know, you've got this. And so you're going to be quite proud of yourself. I feel like you're going to be quite proud of yourself. What else do we have here? We have the moon. We have the moon. Now I need to ask why the moon is coming up here. I suppose we are headed to what the new moon, right? When is that? The 25th. 
or no, that's January. Oh goodness, that was the full moon. Hold on, y'all. I have to switch my calendar. I haven't even flipped it over for February. <laughs> I'm like looking at my wee moon calendar on the wall here. The new moon in Aquarius is on the 9th. Okay, on the 9th. So we are headed to a new moon. So that means we're just starting to see these manifestations. We're like mid-cycle right now. So we're starting to see some of these things that we've manifested. But please show me what the moon is here. This could have been an unknown, the unknown factor that comes in, right? That provides this clarity. What is this? The Ace of Wands. Yeah. There's something, whatever you're finding out here. Now, of course, this is a general reading, y'all. I, I can't give you the exact specific details. Um, but I can tell you it's going to bring in some fresh energy and it's going to motivate you um, for this passionate new beginning. It's growth. It's taking things up to the next level. It's graduating. Some of you are literally bossing up with the world and the emperor and the nine of pentacles here. You find out information that's literally going to propel you to the next level um, in your life, in your love life, in your business. Okay. Um, this is really good. And it, some of you are coming back to where you started. Uh, some of you are going full circle, but not in a bad way. Okay. When I, when I say back to where you started, it's like, um, it's interesting because this is for Groundhog Day <laughs> and I'm seeing this kind of energy of not doing the same things over and over again, but maybe coming back around to try something that you've already done, but more elevated this time. Like you've already been around, you already know, you've learned a lot about yourself, the situation, your business, your perhaps the partner, um, you know, the masculine as well. You're coming full circle. This is a union energy. You're coming into yourself and able to incorporate these new lessons and ideas and um, skills and wisdom and everything that you've gained um, to try something again. Okay, so we're bringing it up to the next level. I'm seeing like the spiral staircase. I'm not seeing, you know, going round and round in circles. This is an evolutionary um, situation. Okay. So um, it's very interesting that this is coming up. Um, the devil. Okay. So <laughs> the devil here. Okay. I want to see because it's coming up a little bit still with this challenge energy, even though the 10 of cups is not challenging, but the devil um, right away intuitively, I am getting that we could have the um, uh, temptation to overindulge in some of the celebratory, um, rituals, let's just say. Okay. But let me see what this, uh, what this devil is here for. I'm not getting that it's necessarily negative, but we're going to have to watch. We don't overdo it. Okay. We don't overdo it on the celebrating. We don't overdo it. Oh, goodness. The devil and the king of swords. Why is that coming up? I need more clarity. Why is the devil and the king of swords together? This could be somebody who has, um, oh, okay. I'm getting kind of like obsessively thinking about the situation, um, on their own. Yeah. Hermit. Somebody's coming out with it. Now it's moving this, this, the reading and the energy is moving into another direction because for a while I was getting goals and dreams and aspirations, right? Whatever it is that you've been willing to into existence um, <laughs> for yourself. But this is going, this is taking me back to this message from, for some of you from the, from the divine masculine coming through. Okay. Um, there's information coming into you that, um, this person or the situation, somebody's been thinking about this obsessively. Um, somebody's been thinking about you obsessively. Somebody's been um, very much in their head thinking about all the ways in which they could come through and, you know, provide a dream. You know, this is somebody who's had you at the top of their mind, but they've been, uh, while they've been keeping very quiet, this is coming out. This is something coming out, especially with the moon here. Something's coming up to the surface. So you're going to be finding out some very important information that I feel like um, is going to change the game here for you. I'm hearing it's, it's a game changer. This information comes through is a game changer. Okay, um, without going too much further into it, I'm going to 
see what the potential outcome for your day is. Um, I might, you know, I was not intending to extend this. I was intending it to keep it short and sweet um, and not too much focused on love because I know a lot of you are here for your personal growth and development um, and spiritual path and things like that what's coming down the line but y'all I can't control what comes out and I know there's some of you who are like wait 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 tell me more about that tell me more about the love portion um, and I will do that we'll extend it but for now I want to know how you're going to feel at the end of the day at the outgoing energy um, here and I want to get your self-development stuff going on as well uh, we have the Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. Ooh, see? Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Nine of Swords. Yep, okay. Right. So at the end of the day, there is a worry. It's like, is this too good to be true? Whatever, all of this that is coming in, it's happening very quickly. Like I said, you might have to take a time out to... to to process everything. I mean, like, a lot of it is very good. I am seeing wonderful energy coming through to you. I just saw 2044 as I'm recording this. Um, so I'm looking up and I'm like, I'm seeing really beautiful, positive things. But there is an underlying feeling at the end of the day. It's like, can I take this seriously? I'm wondering if this is right? Is it going to be fair? Is it going to work out? Is it going to break my heart? Will I get rejected? Like, is this something that's going to be like, is the other shoe going to drop? You know what I mean? Or is this going to work out? There's a lot of worrisome energy. And honestly, I can take, if I take away the interpretation about someone else obsessively thinking about you, which I'm not taking that out of the reading because it's here. But now I'm looking at these two, um, this combination, this combination of cards right here. I can say, you know, this worrisome energy, you know, is that what the temptation is? Like, let's not get lost in our thoughts. Let's not overthink. Um, let's not like, let's enjoy the good things that are coming into us instead of like allowing our, um, inner self saboteur to start blah, 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 telling us that the other shoe is going to drop. And then it's, you know, it's just going to break our heart and it's not going to work out, you know, because what we have here is some very elevated, beautiful energy. Um, but then we have someone obsessively thinking that the worst is going to happen, um, which is, you know, I'm not pointing fingers or placing blame, there might be a need for you to go within and spend some time alone to process all of this because I feel like it is very overwhelming, the information that comes into you. So it's like on one hand, it's like I want to celebrate. This is beautiful. This is everything I've wanted. On the other hand, it's like now this brings up a whole pack of worry and doubt. Um, and so by the end of the day, you know, like that's why I'm suggesting that taking a rest or some time out or some time to process all of the good stuff coming through to you and allowing, um, maybe not judging these, um, feelings or thoughts, you know, uh, or this ego that's telling us it's too good to be true. Let's just observe it. Like be the observer. I don't know if y'all have read the power of now, but this is what's coming through. Uh, the advice is to stay in the moment and it always is with the nine of swords. Okay. If you're worrying about all the worst case scenarios or what the, all the what ifs and what if this happens, what if that happens, you know, um, none of these things are actually happening. I only see the good stuff coming through, uh, but we're worried about all that could go wrong, you know, not getting any sleep about it. Right. Um, just remember, try to remind yourself, um, try to just observe those thoughts and say, you know what, this is not happening to me in the present moment. I don't need to worry about this right now. It is not happening. So don't even go there, you know, uh, and just, just let those thoughts pass through and be the observer and don't place any judgment. Okay. And the thoughts will, you know, they will fall away once you bring yourself back to the present moment, maybe do some meditation and breath work and all of that lovely stuff that goes along with the four of swords. Okay. So that is the advice. Um, because yeah, I mean like you're getting a lot, I feel like a lot of information is coming through to you and you might start thinking again if this is love if this is business you're like okay well if I take things up to the next step well then I gotta worry about this and this and this and this and it's like whoa 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 slow down 
Let's take things one step at a time, okay? We allow ourselves to be happy that we are um, getting the signs and synchronicities and getting the support that we've been after, right? You know, we don't want to doubt ourselves right away. We don't want to, we don't want to shoot our, our dream in a foot before it even takes off. Like, yeah, I don't know <laughs> why this is all coming up. But for those of you who are interested and we want to apply this to the divine masculine energy, because it is here. It is here, okay? And for some of you, this is going to be 100% in your love life. Um, we are going to extend it for those of you. We'll dive deep into the obsessive thinking, the obsessively thinking and the communication that's coming through from the emperor towards the divine feminine empress, okay? And we'll do that in the extended. The link will be in the description box below and also pinned to the top of the comments. But for now, don't go anywhere because we still have some oracle messages for you. I want to get this self love energy. I'm going to get some goddess guidance, advice, and an affirmation before we close out this section of the reading. Y'all give you some advice. I, I, you know, if you can, I mean, I'm asking kindly, not gimme, gimme never gets, you know, I do know my manners. Um, if y'all have any advice, um, what are the readings that y'all want to watch right now? You know, are they, is everything really truly shifting? Do you still want the love readings? Um, do you still, do you want career and spiritual messages? Like, um, I'm also just going to read what comes through, but I can set some intentions for readings as well. So clarify your desire. And also y'all help me clarify the desire for the channel. What do y'all want to see? And let's be honest. Okay. Okay. Let's be honest, uh, with your girl, your bestie so that I can, I can deliver what it is that you're, you're looking for. Okay. Um, we have clarify your desire. Be clear about what you want. Do not ask out of lack, but from the deepest joy in your heart. What is it that you desire? Right? And I feel like you know what you've been hungry for. Okay? <laughs> uh, look deeper. There is more beneath the surface. Remain cool and centered. Take time to look at the deep underlying currents and follow your intuition. Okay? Follow your intuition with what's happening. Practice self-care. Look at that. You know, follow your intuition, take some time to look a little deeper, allow yourself time and space, you know, serve others, but don't neglect your own needs. You can't give what you don't already have. Replenish your cup and attend to yourself. Take out those moments that you need for you. Okay. Um, and then we also have at the bottom of the deck and I, I am pulled to it. It says offer grace, make choices based on what your heart can live with, even the wrong decisions. We receive grace after we've shown it to others, okay? And then well, let's get goddess guidance advice for you, my loves. Okay, ooh, that came up. Look at that. It's a divine feminine, austera, fertility. <laughs> okay, it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions, which is exactly what is happening here. It is a new season for you, and it's not going anywhere. Um, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. It's quite lovely. And then we have a couple affirmations here for you you. And let's do the thing. It says, I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. That's what I'm talking about with that will. That's what you've been doing, right? Um, I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. That's a good one. And then I am at peace with my sexuality. Okay. So then this one says, I rejoice in my sexuality and in my own body. My body is perfect for me in this lifetime. I embrace myself with love and compassion. I love that. I love that. You are beautiful. Um, I'm sending you lots of love for those of you yeah, who are going to join me for the extended reading. I really, truly appreciate the energy exchange. And for everyone else who's been liking and sharing and commenting and just feeding so much love into this channel, into this space that we've created together. Thank you so much. I truly wouldn't be here without y'all and I'm just so freaking grateful and humbled to be here for you um, and reading for you on the almost daily thanks thank you thank you okay I'm sending you lots of love again 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 and I will see you in the extended or in the next reading take care
Hi everyone, thank you so very much for joining me for the extended. I really appreciate your energy exchange. And you know, I just remembered that I haven't done the draw yet for the free reading for January. So that will be um, announced in our next reading, <laughs> um, just because I haven't done it yet. And also um, just reminding y'all that, that have offered your energy exchange in this portion of the reading. Um, there will be a draw for the month of February as well. Um, thank you again for your... Um, contribution to our channel and the work that I do. Okay, let's get into it. Now you'll see that I have removed a lot of the energies from the table already because um, when I look at this first string <laughs> that we received here in our Divine Feminine reading, when I, if I were to interpret this just solely using the interpretation of the Emperor being the Divine Masculine energy, I am seeing this as communication coming through, clarity coming through, messages coming through about, you know, your divine masculine, about the love that y'all share, okay, um, and feeling very good. And when we get the Two of Cups energy, y'all, we are feeling like, oh my gosh, uh, the person that I love loves me back and this is going really well. We're celebrating. This is victorious energy. This is reunion energy. And then, of course, we have the Divine Masculine coming through and the Ten of Cups, like the Ten of Cups, the challenge being, I don't know why it came up as the challenge, but perhaps it's because of those fears and doubts that we picked up on, on the first portion of the reading, like, um, uh, you know, doubting whether or not this is too good to be true or is this really happening? Oh my gosh, like, I do feel like you're going to be pretty shocked and surprised um, about the information that comes through from the masculine. Okay. Um, but it is going to feel like, oh my gosh, um, my hope and my wish and my dream is coming true with the 10 of cups energy. All right. Um, this looks like, you know, it's, it's kind of akin to receiving a message from your masculine that says, you know what, I got to tell you something. This is a confession. You know, I've got to tell you, I got to get this off my chest. I've been obsessively thinking about you and the connection and oh my gosh, I just love you so much. It's like, one of those types of messages that I'm picking up on, um, something that would be a cause we're celebrating a happy reunion, right? Okay. So I'm going to just dive in right now, now that we've uh, explained to you what's going on here with this energy, um, and why I'm here extending it because this is big stuff. This is clarity and confessions coming through. Now let's get an overall energy of, you know, what vibe are they in as they communicate this information to you? We're going to find out what this information is going to be, uh, the words that they're going to say, as well as the feelings, right? All the feelings and the thoughts and potential and intentions and all that good stuff. Okay. So, um, what do we have? Attraction. Oh, hell yeah. Attraction. Divine. <laughs> 